Hello everyone, this is Matt from Bliss Tech Solutions and here we have another tech tip for you. Um, so this tech tip is all about teams and private channels and public channels. So within any organization, not everybody needs access to all of the data. And the way that we can help to segregate information within teams is to use private teams and private channels. So uh, I'm gonna show you how, here we go. Okay, so here you can see I'm in Teams. Uh, I've used the web version. The same principle applies exactly for the desktop version as well. And I've gone into the team section over here and what I'm gonna do is create a new team. Uh, so I click the little plus icon and then create team. And then I've got some options. I can use a template, but we're just gonna do this from scratch. So I click from scratch and then I have two other options, whether I wanna create a private team or a public team. So a private team, anyone within your organization can join it. Uh, so that means they can search for it, they can join the team, so it's uh, public across the entire organization. A private team requires that you invite people to that team. So I'm gonna create the private team here, I'm gonna give it a name, uh, call it Tech Tip. I mean, this is, you know, you could use, this, use this for a project, you could use this for a department. Um, so for example, you know, if you're working on a specific project that you only want certain team members to have access to, or you know you create this for a department, let's say finance or something, and you only invite the people who are members of that finance team to get access. Um, so create that, and it's gonna create the team for us. All done. Okay, so now we can start to invite people to the team. So because it's a private team, only I will have access until I invite somebody else. So I'm just going to invite me, um, because I'm doing this with a, with a, a, a testing account. So click add. Um, I'll then get a, a notification on that uh, to say that I've been added. Another thing I can do here is make uh, the, the people I invite either a member of the team, so that means they can just participate within the team, or the, an owner, and that means they can manage the team and also invite other people. I'm just going to create myself as a member and then close. Okay, all done. Nice and easy. So everybody who is a member of that team who has been advice, invited automatically gets access to the general channel here. Um, that is for everyone. Uh, but let's say I want to restrict this down further. So let's say it's a project. Um, there are certain people who need to have access to, to everything within the project, but there are certain elements, let's say financials regarding the project, you only want limited people to have access to. So I'm gonna create another channel here, add channel, and I'm gonna give it a name. Let's use my example, call it finance. And then I get the privacy options here. So I can either make it standard, uh, so everybody within the team gets access, private, and then shared, so you can choose uh, other people from other organizations to have access. We're not gonna cover that now. Uh, so I'm gonna create a private channel. Click create. And then I get the option to invite people to that channel. So I could invite myself. If I was to search for somebody else, within our organization, even though they're in our organization, because they're not a member of that top level private team, they can't, I can't invite them. I, they have to be a member of that team already. Um, so I'm not, I'm not gonna invite anybody to this, I'll just continue. So you see here we've created layers within Teams itself. So you have a private team, which only certain people can access. And then within that private team, you have a private channel, which can have further restrictions on it. You can spin it another way. You could have a public team that everybody within your organization could join, but then private channels within that public team. So you can create lots of different levels and it helps you to organize data, give access to people on a need to know basis. Um, and it, 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 it's reasonably powerful. It gives you, you know, pretty much what most organizations need from a simple file management and security point of view. So I hope you found that tip useful. I'll see you again next time.